you just, I've just turned the heating up, which I always feel is dangerous because I'm so relaxed now. Well, you're so drowsy. I am. I'm a bit, it's almost I'm a bit woozy in the nicest possible way. I'm just a bit. Can you imagine if we put on, imagine if it was closer to Christmas. Yeah. Acceptably close to Christmas where I could put on some Nat King coal and some crackling yeah, fire offer noises. Me some, <laughs> offer me some mulled wine. <laughs> Just put on a really big woolly jumper. Chestnuts Ooh. roasting on an open, open fire. fire. Da, 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 da. Driving my Lexus into a bus shelter because <laughs> I'm so relaxed, I passed out. Ready? Yeah. I didn't do that. Stop. the dashboard? Oh, it's like you're in space! Hyper speed. Quite like that. It's a bit Star Warsy, isn't it? In a, a good bit. way. Yeah, yeah, not in an annoying way. Boring people who go on about it a bit too. Much. <laughs> so, um, and oh, there's, there's the engine. The engines. High, high engine. This was supposed to be a Toyota Supra. Yeah. And someone crashed it. I was going to ask you about that. I was so, expecting yeah, to claim it. Why have in a Lexus ES? The answer is because the Supra got crashed. So this is a, sorry about that, Lexus. And I'll be honest, they said, well, we can lend you a Lexus ES. And I, I had to stop myself going, what? I'd yeah. completely forgotten. I'm in drive. I'd completely forgotten well, that this car existed, even though it's actually, the ES has existed for years in the America. It has, hasn't it? And the Japan. Yeah. Yeah. It was the second Lexus, I think. Yeah, well, it came out in 90 or... Yeah, something like that. So there was the LS, obviously, the kind of the daddy Lexus. Which was the 89? Was it 1989? Yeah, 89, I guess, as a, as a, in that thing that Americans do, a 1990 model year. So hang on what a minute. What model year is that? Well, just this year plus one, as usual, you weirdo. <laughs> why, why do your model years come out, like, in June? Yeah, it's just silly. It's confusing. So this, yeah, this followed the um, LS originally, but it was really, the original I think was just a sort of gussied up Posho Camry. Yes, because this is front wheel drive, right? It's front wheel drive. But, but it looks like a rear wheel, because the GS was rear, wasn't it? Yeah, so this has arrived in Britain now, sometime this year, I think, to replace the GS as the medium-sized Lexus. Mm. And the thing about the GS is that I thought it was quietly one of the most underrated cars I, I always, in Britain. I like the GS. In the 90s, it had some of the best designed alloy wheels of any car on sale. So yes, the um, the GS, I the last shape, the one that this has now replaced. Yeah. The GSF was an absolute brilliant nut job of a car. Do you remember that with the, the That's five no, litre V8? Normally aspirated normality V8. Aspirate. Was it five normality, normality aspirate. Did you say, f is it five litre? Five litre. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was tremendous. Yeah. But then there was the GS450H, the hybrid one. Yes. Which was deceptively quick. Like, it's. it felt like they'd sort of gone, well, no one's looking, let's use this hybrid system, not for pure economy, Let's just see how much power we can get out of it. And it went like a bastard. Yeah, yeah. But well, it was I just a really nice car all round. You know, usual sort of Lexus thing. Well, th really beautifully made, quite yeah. quiet, comfortable, yeah. not showy. Well, that's the thing. I, the people that buy Lexuses, Lexi, a saloon like this, mm. people that are very confident in their own skin. They know I what they so. want and they're, yeah. and they're attracted to um, they're attracted to uh, quality workmanship rather than shoutiness. Because it, I've only been in it for five minutes, and yet it feels like a sort of familiarly comfortable chair. Yeah, it's comfy, isn't it? It is it's really quite, comfy. Quite quiet. I read something about this, which shows the kind of attention to detail that went into the quietness, which speaks a lot about the, the vibe of this car. It's got specially designed alloys with um, hollow rims and hollow spokes with sound resonators 
to make uh, to make the, the reduced road noise. What has it? Yeah, because this is the Takumi model. This is yeah, it's the top of the which line. This is the sporty, uh, the sort of the premium it's one. A, yeah, it's a sort of Luxo one, I think, because yeah. there's an F Sport. Which That's I, right. And, I, and I, I double checked the spec when they said this is what we're lending you. And when I realised it wasn't the F Sport, I thought, oh, thank God. I don't. Well, how can you have a sport? full nutter like a GSF? I don't want a sporty Lexus. No. Or well, that coupe one. What's that new coupe one called that I've driven? The, the oh. LC. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, well, and it's beautiful. And I it's, think it, it looks amazing, and the interior is fabulous. And it is a cool thing. Yeah, I've is got it a, a sign of... of getting old that I'm kind of I, I'm quite down with just Lexus stuff. Well, getting now. getting older normally corresponds with being more comfortable in your own skin. Yeah, so you're less likely to want to be showy, and you know what you like. So. Yeah. I think there's a thing about Lexuses that look, they get overlooked because people are just bad snobs and they presume the Audi will be cooler and they presume the BMW will go around corners better. Well, the 5 Series probably does go around corners better than this. I, I, I haven't driven this car hard. In fact, I am going to drive this car today. I'm going to have a go in it as well because I want to. You should. I'm already feeling quite relaxed. Are you feeling drowsy though? <laughs> well, I mean, there, there's, a slight, there's a slight sense that I might just gently slip into a deep, quiet sleep. This this is the kind of car I would have really liked coming back from Heathrow um, over the weekend because I'd had a proper snotter of, oh, a, your, of a journey disaster. Oh, planes, trains and automobiles Yeah, which is just an absolute Brian Kant. But I would... This would have been the car in in that... I was at, I was at an all-time low energy-wise and tolerance-wise. Yeah. Mm. I would have liked to have just got in in something like this. Just get in and just the seats are good. Just it? let the Mark Levinson sing to me. It just is. let the, the the heated seat really go to town on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heated steering wheel. Get that bad boy. Two stage heated steering wheel. Get oh, it yeah. on. That's connoisseur's choice right yeah. there. Yeah, that's. This car it is, is a sign of ages. And I just look at this and I go, well, now this is a well-made car. This would be a faithful and quiet servant for many years. Oh yeah, check this out. It opens my side. Opens your side. Oh, rock and roll! What happens if you try and do both at once? Oh, it won't. It doesn't let you. Let you. They, no. thought that. they thought it's like a, be a prick about it's it. It's like a saloon door, isn't it? Yeah. And also, a look at this. The, 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 there's a nice sort of. Is it leather to look like? Yeah, but a to wood look like grain. it's got a ripple on it. No, I bet that's one of those ones where they've gone. This is actually some tribute to an ancient Japanese thing. Oh, a pebble in a stream. It's it's, it's tossing a small pebble something into a stream. Like that, yeah. Isn't it? Fair play. And actually, the Mark, the Mark Levinson, um, there's a little bit of nice detail. Not quite as nice as the Mercedes ones. Mercedes have got those amazingly like laser cut. So, uh, metal. Jag, my eye pace has got something like that. And there's someone at Jag told me that it was it's actually so complicated that their CAD cam system blew up trying to do it. They had to do, redesign, they had to get, get extra software in my. to render it because every single hole is a slightly different shape to achieve the effect they were looking for. The other thing is, having been in the 992 Porsche 911, yes. and both had injured hands as a result of getting yes. in and out. no chance right, of that. Put, yeah, look at that. Put your hand, the ergonomic, yeah, ergonomics of that interior handle are just gorgeous. It's good, isn't it? Look yeah. at it, look, there's even a thumb place for the thumb. Slide the thumb, and then bring the hands around. Come on, show me the action. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, Why the thumb goes thumb in, the thumb there? goes Why in. Why would you put your thumb I in? I don't know, because it's, <laughs> I don't know. What just, are you doing? Because you just glide your, I mean, that's in. what you do, so I suppose it's... It's a gliding, gliding action. It's a sort of satiny... But then yeah. as you pull it a little bit, look, I'll just make sure there's no cyclist that I'm going to take out. No, as you just do Don't, it. you're upsetting the car oh, now, it's but flashing it, at it's me. It's really nice and strokeable. Do you um, like it? I'll show you, just, I just noticed something while I was waiting for you as well. Just attention to detail. The, I don't like that, it just keeps going... Harrr. Is that the... Some um, of the noises my dog makes when she's just... Seems to be a bit stuffed up, and she'll just suddenly go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! So it's ha got a bit of haptic feedback it's in there. A bit. It's quite haptic, isn't it? It's like it's one of those kids' o operation haptic. games where you get an, an electric shock. If no, you I did. was going to show you this. Look there. So you got that, I, I, and I'm going to give them an extra point for that because I'm getting a bit annoyed with cars where the temperature is on there. Oh, within a. And it, it, it you just, I just want to look down and go. I don't know why. Yeah. But I just quite like having constant temperature display there. Yeah. But then you do that, and look. Oh, and it rotates. It rotates. It's not just. They could just flick between numbers, but they've put a rotation in it because it's somehow a little more delightful. Yeah. 
So that's nice. So I like the I do like the Lexus clock up here. Well, Again, they, it's they analog. They ditched that cockroach clock that all Toyotas have, <laughs> have had for thirty years. And I love that. Still in what was the last Toyota I drove that still got it? CHR, I think, still got it in blue, not the classic green, but it's still got it. The digital clock that will outlast all of everything, including time itself. Could, to could Toyota, for retro's sake, because a lot of Toyota fanboys out there, you know, for especially performance stuff. Yeah drifty stuff could, could, could they do a bedside clock with it because they'll have old stock of them yeah well they must do that's the thing I think they're still trying to get rid of them Good. maybe that's it the stocks are dwindling now so they've had to go analog they had a stock manager who just pressed the button on like 150 million of them <laughs> and then just went I you thought the decimal <laughs> point was a different place. and he went you do realise how many clocks that is yeah, but what are you doing it's only 1981 we'll be using these until the 21st century well so uh, yeah. well they're good yeah they are tell good. the time well yeah I wonder who makes the movement in them is it Casio? Uh, it Better. feels like it. It should be. Because it has that Casio look. Definitely. It's very, very Casio vibe. Yeah. Which is no bad thing. Casio, look, have a very strong retro range that they've brought back. So yes. why don't we have Toyota slash Lexus clocks? Ooh. Now there's a downside. So you just, it was very quiet. When it's running on electric power, yeah. super quiet, smooth, lovely, good in that traffic jam. Was. I saw the little EV green badge come yeah, up. Yeah, it's all good. But then... Yeah. It's only a four-cylinder, two and a half litre four-cylinder. Yeah. And when you, as just going up that hill, just had a little requirement of it. It's all right now. Ah. Ah. A bit louder than you'd want. But that's the CVT bastard. Yeah. Isn't it? They said they've done some stuff now to try and make it feel less. You get that funny sort of elasticy feeling where it's you clog it and it's like... And it stretches and then... <laughs> speed and revs don't match. And they say they've tried to sort that out, but I'm not... Not totally sealed on that. No. This is the tonic to road I'm rage and congestion. How much I'm enjoying this car because it's just so absolutely unsporty and just there's a sort of satisfyingness to it because you go, well, this will keep working for a million years, and I'll just cruise around. The ride is nice. You've had a Lexus, haven't you? Well, I had that LS400 original shape. Well, it wasn't. It was a sort of updated original shape. Uh, that, I, that I got for free because it was a leftover prop from one of Clarkson's everything was blown up DVDs and uh, they bought two and one of them literally did get blown up uh oh, oh this is shenanigans what, going what on here. earth I was ever going to happen there um, yeah and then the other one was left over and, and you no just got given it, it. And it was an, a, a proper... It was a proper functioning car. Our old tame mechanic, he put an MOT on it for me. It was only later I found out the MOT was a bit hooky, but that's by the by. And I was going I thought, what I want, I think... I knew you then. Yeah, but did you never see that Lexus? It smelt a bit weird, but in every other respect, it was great because everything worked. Of course it did. It was an old Lexus. I think it had 115,000 miles in it. Oh, wait. No, something didn't work. The fuel gauge didn't work. You never run out of fuel in a car with a broken fuel gauge. Very it's true. Interesting, because you're just so paranoid. Paranoia sets in, yeah. Zero the trip every time you brim it, which you yeah. sort of have to do, because then you kind of know, and you go, well, I know I've got, you know, whatever. Yes, yeah, it's true, it's honest. true. So, um, yeah, I did have a Lexus, um, and it did everything. It's sort of like this car, in as much as you saw, I kind of slightly got off on the quality of it um, yeah. for an old car, but uh, mostly just enjoyed the fact I paid nothing for it and that it all worked and you know you could get a strop on but it rolled like you wouldn't believe yeah i mean it was a proper because the seats were very flat and the wheel was huge you could enter a bend um sort of you know sort of quick a road and you'd enter a sort of unexpectedly tight bend and you'd be just oh my god i'm going into the passenger side <laughs> see we had a lexus ls 400 that fifth gear bought to do um, a feature on can you update an old luxury car to sort of new car standards using, using integrated gadgetry. Yeah, yeah. And then it sat in the exec producer's farmyard. I, I, I remember who, that also because yeah. I know him, yes. And uh, is that guy going jogging with full leather jacket and hat? I think he might be. Or it's very late. It's hard to figure out, isn't it? Is he? Yeah, no, he's, he's late. just he's late. late. He's I late. He's not inappropriate jogging, and I'd like that more. I'd love it to wear a leather cap and a, a leather jacket jogging. Um, and that car sat in the foam mud for some five years, mm. and then we needed a car. This is a little sad. We needed a car um, in order to do a crash test on a T-bone, mm. 
and um, they got the LS400 out. All we did is put a battery on it and put a fresh jerry can of fuel in it. Yeah. And I was the one that actually struck it up. And we struck it up and pumped the tyres up. And there'd been some mice living in the boot. So the boot carpet was knackered. Mm. But I went through it and everything worked. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And it was so sad because I knew that day on that shoot it was going to get destroyed. Uh... And um, so I... I um, I gave it a last kind of gasp of life and did some donuts in it until one of the back tires burst <laughs> and started flailing the arch. And it, it's what it would have wanted. It, it, it was a, it was a little bit Neanderthal, but I, the problem was is the car was going to get ruined. Yeah. And I actually found the original uh, Lexus Symphony, I think it was called um, sound oh, system. This thing, the and CD it, that it, showed off the stereo, and it was in the boot. It was Holy all. I found shit. it in the uh, but the mice hadn't eaten it. Oh, so, yeah, it's probably Do worth you know about what? a quid. I think what. I liked about my LS, because again, same thing. Jump start, it had been sitting for ages, jump start, and it turned straight Just away. Just and worked. And settled to a beautifully level, quiet idle, and that was it, and then it was running. Yeah. MOT, dodgy. off it went. <laughs> and it was just, it was great it, for that respect. I realised that, and I, I remember also, the only thing, I thought the clock, the legendary clock, the Casio clock, was broken. Because you couldn't see it, and I was a bit like, oh, that's a fuel gauge clock. Live with that. And then I realised that it's just faded out, because one day the sun caught it, and it was still telling the right time. <laughs> really? It's really but it's just faded? Maybe it wasn't the right time. It can't be the right time. That would be really odd if it was, because the battery had gone. But it was telling the time. I think I was just so amazed it had any time on it at all. But Yeah. I remember what I got I got in it. The first time my wife got in it, we were driving along. It had a massive sunroof, bigger than this. And she went, oh, it's got a sunroof, it was a nice day. She went, open the sunroof, and I thought, Ooh. oh, I haven't checked the sunroof. Flicked the thing, Eek! and it stopped halfway back. And I thought, oh, that's annoying, the sunroof's jammed. Tried the switch again. Eek! Oh, it was back. a halfway switch. It's got, it was a design feature, one yeah. touch, but one touch only got you half open. It's like, it did work, of course it worked. Everything worked. Yeah. And I think that's why I liked it, is because it was an over-engineered car. It was a well. It was Lexus's first effort, so mm -hmm. it had to be damn good. There's a switch down here. I've just found with my hand, and I don't know what it does. Gonna... So that person's driving Ooh. that car in winter. Oh look! I've got it. My, my seat is becoming. Oh, you've got the folding. <laughs> you've got the folder. Where did you do that? Where did you... There's a switch down here. Oh, let's have a go. Oh, let's have a go. Now, oh, this is ridiculous. I'm now basically in a full reclined deck chair. Yeah, posture. you are. You're just going to become Davros. If I do fall asleep at the wheel, just. You know. I will let you know. Let me know. Or so grab, the, grab the steering wheel or something. So this is called an ES300H, but yet yes. it's a two and a half litre engine. Yeah, they're engine. Kind of fast and loose with their numbers now to sort of, yeah, I think probably yeah. their claim would be, well, it has the power of a three litre, with the economy of a two litre, something like that. Yeah, and it's got, it's got two electric motors, I think. Has it? Yeah, but I do, which sounds. I'll have to check. I know the batteries live under the back seat. Uh, yes. Have you been in there? In the to, back seat. To, today, you must go in there. I saw the the it's, control panel for the rear stuff is in itself a bit of a work of art because you look at it again. It looks like one of those sort of really beautifully put together 1980s Sony amps. Yes. Where each button just looks like it's sort of been handcrafted. It it really go, is. It really is that good. Um, I have to say, it's great back there. They say it's got one millimetre less legroom than the LS. Well, you're going to notice that one millimetre, aren't you? Aren't you? Not as much headroom. No, because it drops, Because it's it? got a bit of a slopey... A but then look at that. There's a, there's a scallop. There is. A big one. There's a scallop out of the roof panel right where you need it, so yeah. it's probably not that bad. And you, you only have a ski hatch, whereas I think it's competitors like the A6 Audi and the... Five a BMW and stuff have got a fold down seat option. I know why though. I looked this, I saw this in the bump. I knew you'd know why. Um, this, like ES's of the past, is, is, is a sort of a Camry underneath. I yep. mean, mind you, everything is a Camry underneath in the sense that all that Toyota's platform sharing is massive, isn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. the, the current Corolla is related to the Camry, it's all the same yep. broad box of parts that scaled up and down but this one of the ways it differs from the Camry is that it has a cross brace behind the back seats for greater body shell rigidity right okay they claim the shell is as rigid as the LC coupe 
Which explains why you can't put the seats down so at the back. You can't put the seats down because they, they prioritised body rigidity, but I bet they prioritised it not for handling, as Tiff would say, but for... Resonance. Or resonance, something. for refinement. Yeah, I bet I'll they did. have you a fistful of yen. That was yeah. the reason behind it, because they want to... They want to make a refined car. Oops, Oops. thank you, lady. And one of those That's things it. they give marathon runners when they finish. Space blanket. Space blanket. Do you know, because this is Takumi spec, it's got the um, electrically reclining rear seats as well. That's amazing. There's some buttons yeah. down there by you that are, I guess, to move your seat. So if that's full chauffeur spec, well, isn't well, there. it? Oh, Back yeah. seat passengers can move the uh, passenger seat forward to get extra legroom, which is a lovely chauffeur yeah. car touch. If that's well, that's what thing. this, this would be a really good stealth wealth show, chauffeur driven car, because it's not super big like the LS or the 7 Series or the 8 Series, uh, the A8. Oh, it writes really quite nicely as well, isn't it? Maybe the best thing is, when you're driving a Lexus, because it puts you into this wonderful state of tranquility, the, the the, the contrast to that is you have to drink some super intensive espresso coffee. So you're really perked up. Your, yeah. your, sen your senses are heightened, but yet your body is sitting because you can't do anything else. And you're just taking in, you're drinking. Can you think, can you change your thought process? Can you sharpen your thoughts? Is this, a, is this potentially a really good car for creatives? You know, like a movie director who's oh, trying to work out a scene. It's not distracting you, you can just yeah. concentrate on, on thinking. It's stripping back all it's of the point, other things. Isn't it? and you go, it's, not like, it's the anti sort of driver's car in that you don't have to intensely drive it. No, because it's, it's encouraging you. It with one finger now, literally yeah. one finger driving. And um, it's I'm just, going it's, below the speed limit of 20 miles an hour because I'm just sort of because I've interviewed enough people to say that they actually get a few musicians and people like that and they say they do feel like driving is a creative time for them driving alone yes is. and we're in a world where autonomy is creeping in you know uh, sh surely but let's assume you still want to drive your car mm. and touch the controls and choose yeah. your destinations and stuff mm. Lexus is the closest to autonomy without being autonomous because it's, I mean, listen to it. Go over the speed bump. I mean, that's quiet. It really is quiet, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? That Depeche Mode song in my head, Enjoy the Silence, which is probably their best song ever. And that Lexus, if they don't already, they should bloody well use that. I don't know why they don't. I can't remember. I saw on their, their American website, because I was looking this up to see if the GS is still sold. <gasps> and it is. There's an SC430. There's an that, that's Hello, that's, cousin. Can we, can we outlaw that bad boy? My gosh, we are in Lexus we town. We are. We're in Lex country now. So this is the back end of uh, uh, Hampstead going to... Um, uh, or we just came through Belsize Park, and this is going to be uh, Primrose Hill up here. Yep. So this is, you know, posho part of North London, and I hadn't really clocked how Lexusy it is. Well, we, since we went through Hampstead, I, I've seen about four, and most of them are RXs. Yeah. Which are, there, there is a little bit of old money about RXs, I think. What do you think? Well, you still want the big sort of frumpy but friendly SUV. But you don't want to pay much money with petrol and you can't be bothered to plug anything in. Yeah, and there's also that kind of moneyed but <gasps> another one. Another RX. You've got a bit of money, but you want to show that you're not a total bastard, so and you care about the environment. And a very easy you might even say lazy way to do that is to go, well, I've got a hybrid car. Yeah. Oh, Certainly there was so. before electric cars came along. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. Well yeah, though. Yeah, Tesla, right? Well old money buys the old Old money buys the old RX, right? As in late nineties. I really thought about this, but maybe. Yeah, I suppose it's the. For they a long do. time, it was the socially acceptable SUV if you feared that people were going to call you a climate killing bastard. What and spray wanker down the side of your car? Yeah. Or tree killer. Yeah. Yeah, it's less sort of obnoxious in certain parts of certain cities than a Range Rover or something. Yeah. That's not touchscreen, is it? No, it's not, but I wanted to just check if there was it's any touch. Yeah, and I do fear this a little bit. I mean, I can't get over the badness of those graphics. They are quite bad. Oh, setup. 
climate info. What's info? Oh, it's giving us. Okay, MPG. Our previous best, 56.6 miles to the gallon. Yeah, for a petrol power. I think this car. Size ex ex executive car. Do you know what ES stands for? No. Executive sedan. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, that's so sensible and logical. So I wonder what LS was supposed to stand for. Long sedan. Luxury. Oh, yeah. We well, you know Lexus. I don't, this is sort of. I've seen this. It'd be luxury disputed. sedan, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, yes. Be luxury. luxury so you've got executive and then, executive and then luxury. Sedan. What does what does GS stand for? Just grand sedan. Gout sedan. Gout sedan. <laughs> Gary's Gout sedan. sedan, sedan, wherever you are, sedan. It's that famous song all about gout. But I have seen it, I was going to say, I've seen this disputed, but it's also, I think I've seen it in official bump that Lexus stood for luxury export to the United States. Is that true? Well, I don't know. It might be. It might be one of those after the fact things. It might, in fact, that's be total great. bollocks, but yes. That obviously Lexus is a made-up word, and that's where it came from. So it was claimed by some people, including yeah, I yeah. think occasionally Lexus themselves. Who knows? But go on, you can go. Oh, it's an this i3s. I3S. We, we love Sorry, i3s. Kind of, oh, I don't, uh, I don't oh, betray doing my the... trust by doing that. Oh yeah, that is a bit cheeky, but it's a cool colour. Yeah, it's a cool colour, isn't it? It's a cool colour. All right, yeah. you're welcome. She mate. didn't make eye contact. We noticed no, that. She was a bit <laughs> flustered. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, maybe this I is. Do, I feel like I just. I could we just write some music lyrics? Slowly. It's really odd. We could just try. Well, I'm going to put it in sport mode and see if that changes it. Oh, hello. Got Red some dials. New graphics. Some new graphics. Got an actual rev counter now. I think the uh, the official MPG on this is something like 59, 58 or 59. Yeah. It's pretty high. Well, and I bet, I and I bet it'll sort of it'll nip at that going around town, which of course a five series diesel probably wouldn't. No. Um, okay, thank you. Well, that's nice. Body lifted. Um, is that a Land Cruiser Colorado? Yeah, with a big aerial on it. What's going on there? Well, he's ten four, isn't he? He's ten four yeah, rubber duck. Yeah. I've got a smoky on my back door. Smoky on your back door. Yeah. In uh, in Primrose Hill. What surprises me is that this is still floor shift. As it's in, odd, isn't it? Why is this not at least buttony? Or I mean, something? why isn't that? Why isn't just that drive? Well, that's pure. That's, that's so um, LFA. NSX. Oh, is LFA? Yes, because I kept thinking NSX. Going, I've seen those sorts of rotary things yeah, on the original. Yeah, it's in the it's in the LC, but I'm, I have. Oh, the steering's got quite heavy. Look, there's a front wheel drive Lotus Elan. Oh wow, like on those. the number plate. Do you I really like those? Yeah. Didn't Hammond ruin one? Oh, it on. was it was cack to begin with that one. Oh, was it? Yeah, it wasn't great because the budget was low. Arr, stop honking at me, car. It's like there's a sort of mechanical goose trapped somewhere in the dashboard. <gasps> so spurt mode, I notice, has made the steering heavier than is pleasant for the relaxed. <laughs> that, than is pleasant. I'm sure it'd be fine if you want a you know a sinuous B road, as it were. But this is not really a sinuous B road kind of car. What about a sinewy B road? Sinewy or gristly. Um, Throttle response is a bit sharper. Yeah, but you'll get the scream of the CVT. Yeah, yeah the engine will scream. Don't want to do that. Turn it off immediately. Get rid. Go back to normal. I, I want the, normal the, again. You can fast track back to normal by just pressing that. There's notice at the end there. Far, there we go. Fast track. Throttle is now calmer. Steering is a bit lighter. Gently. Do you have um? But you do have paddles though. I know. Why would I need those? Now are they for? Simulated gears. Yeah, it does faux gears. Step there's a, look, there's one of those. What are they even called? The coupe. Ones. An I and there's. What an, was that uh, called? Not IC? an IC. An IC. Was it an IC? IC AC ACDC. I don't know what they're called. Again, it's a good-looking car. Yeah, but they're a bit. There's another RX. It's kind of weird, isn't it? You suddenly start paying attention to Lexus size, and you, there's loads of them. Lexus size. There's a Bentley Monsanto there as well. You don't see many of those around. Do no, you? you don't actually. Is Lexercise a thing? There's another RX. God, then there's like two oh ISs in there. Feels like we're in some kind of Stepford. We it's are. It's extraordinary. It, we are in Lexus. We're so in it's Lexland. Lexland. We're in Lex country now, my friends. We're blending in quite nicely. 
but it's starting to worry me. Are they all as soporific as I am at driving this car? Is, is there a risk that you could get run over in this neck of the By the way, do you like the styling of the ES? Because I, I do. Yeah, I do, actually. I don't mind it. I think at least they've tried something. Like they've tried this interior. You can't deny this interior sort of... They've had a go. Yeah, it's yeah, better yeah, than... Um, I, I don't mind. I like the mirror, the shape of the mirrors, too. Yeah. They're looking... Like way sportier than the car is. Effort's been made, and I'll always reward effort. God, I thought that person wasn't. Yeah, I thought stop. they weren't. They were coming in hot there. Ah, uh, lovely. One of London's in. green parks. Yeah, no, this is not what you need. No, that, that, like, that's it's, almost it's, when it reveals. It's discouraging you from clogging it. That's when it reveals its flaws, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that, when we don't want it. I don't like that it moves when you clog it because it betrays it's just a full cylinder, but you know. Can I have a cheeky drive? You can. Jack Frost nipping at your toes. But not in a Lexus. There would be an asterisk on that. Yeah. Like a, there'd be a, oh, but not for, not for Lexus drivers. They're exempt from the nipping at the toes and general discomfort. So this is supposed to be a rival to, I uh, just reminded me because I saw a Jag XF there. So it's XF, BMW 5 Series, Mercedes E-Class, Audi yeah. A6. Volvo. Volvo. S90? I guess so, yeah. That's a nice car. That is a nice that's, car. Again, that's a re resolutely unsporty. Yep. Sit back, relax. It's a seat will gently cook your ass <laughs> as you waft along. That's a Jazz FM contender, the But S90. the ride is not tremendous in that Volvo, and that's disappointing. Yeah. Um, and the ride in this is excellent, so I got Do you prefer the look of the Volvo or the, the aesthetics of this? Probably the Volvo. I like that they've tried with this, but they've almost tried a bit too hard, haven't they? That's part of the problem. We've just kind of gone, let's be a bit more zany. We're sick of people saying we're boring, so we're going to do something nuts, like, like take our clothes off in a restaurant. Don't <laughs> do that. It's like that song by um, that we just listened to by Shania Twain, Man of Filippo and Woman. Um, what did she say? Something about being really crazy gonna be I can't remember to totally, crazy. totally crazy cut off my hair do what I dare yes. Ooh, uh, uh, oh. um, men's shirts short skirts I mean you name it yeah I mean it sounds like she's having a breakdown <laughs> cut off all my hair and wear a completely mismatched outfit yeah, it's just odd right I'm gonna pull in and you can have a little driv of this can I drive it around the perimeter of just London keep driving Zoo? it around the perimeter of Hyde Park Oh, just feel the oh that I'm handle. Are you a bit? I can't even get out. I'm too relaxed. <laughs> just a bit. Oh. You did. You too. drive. I'm going to get in the back. That's a really good good idea. Let's That's do a that. great idea. Yeah. You do that. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Do you want me to put the seat forward for you? Hang on, let me stuff back. Sir, here. let me do this for you. Let no, me do this. No, it's sir, embarrassing when you're too sir, servile. Me, oh, thank you. No, right. let me do this for you, sir. Let me do this for you, sir. Well, now, I am uh, six foot three, and my head, if I set my right, gosh. is just touching the roof. But oh, that's reclined. No, oh, it's not very reclining, then, is it? That's disappointing. So it's it starts. Why are you doing this? That's too upright now. You've got the thing set on full. Yeah, huh? Blimmin of course I have. Rude boy. You can't be rude boy in this. I've got a heated seat back here. I really am going to pass out. <laughs> and I've got my own temp controls, which are on 24. <laughs> Might sort of notch that down a little bit. I've got well, where a block lined we? cubby. If I was a chauffeur in this, um, I'd, even when there's urgency, I'd talk very softly, so I'd be like, "So, where would you like to go? Um, could you, could you not talk to me, please? I'm trying to read a newspaper. No problem. I'm a very important business. No, no problem. Sure. I'm slouching a little, and now I've got headroom. The headroom is okay. I would normally sit like this if I recline the seat as much as I go. It's not actually very reclining, which I'm disappointed in. But obviously, now you've done that with the seat, I've got shit loads of leg room. It's good, isn't it? It's a good place to be. And uh, is it d is it totally crazy? Do you no, feel like you could cut off your hair? It's the exact opposite of totally crazy. When you drive a car that's got one of those, do you ever like to pretend that it's bulletproof and you're putting your James Bond 
putting up a thing. I'm going to say no. Okay, well, for you. This is, um, oh my God, I'm just, I am actually quite, quite drowsy. Look, I've just wedged my head between the headrests and it's quite comfortable. Mmm. <laughs> I've no complaints back here. I'm, I'm rather hoping that the upmarket Uber drivers of London caught onto this car because it's bloody great back here. This is the, it's a cut above a Prius or a, one of those so hybrid you, ionizers. You can, you can be in one of these from 34 and a bit grand. Yes, uh, and the uh, I think this one is thirty-seven. Is it? Is it? I reckon it's about thirty-seven. I thought that they topped out at forty-five. The residual values are predicted to be good because they're not going to sell many, but that would probably help your monthlies if you were leasing it, if you were a cab driver or something. Well, how many? How many do they sell? Do it's think? not many, is it? Oh gosh, I'm feeling See a little I mean. bit tired. <laughs> See? See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I'm it's tired. Just, it's, I mean, it, I'm it, surprised it, there isn't a permanent symbol of a cup of coffee. You know that Mercedes yeah, and yeah, Volkswagen it has. It's just you're tired. Pull over and have a rest. Keeps directing you to Starbucks because it looks like you're a little tired. As I said before, you're tired. Pull over. Have a break. Oh yeah. Good. Good. You just. Down. We're just getting turned on Beautiful by different here. stuff. I know. I know. I know. Listen, Johnny, look. Richard, I know. there's deals to be made whilst travelling in such a vehicle. I know. I know. Do you know what? I don't know what. What? Come on, is that, the tra is that the knob for the traction control? Yeah. In a really prominent place. You're giving it too much prominence because when are you ever going to touch that? What an odd idea. Why isn't that like. I don't know to do with. Just why isn't that? Snap that, it off. And in it fact, miss it. why isn't instead of having the strange haptic, weird mouse, why isn't that the rotary control for say the stereo? Oh, I suppose it'd be on here, but there's a lot of buttons on the steering wheel. But should I go left at some point? Yeah, go left here. Let's just get out of this rat race. I'm not into. Oh, I know where we are now. Oh, yeah. sugar, that's a tight one. Ooh. Yeah, get off your phone, son. I've got to, I'm sorry, I've got, I've, I'm carrying royalty on board and we have to press on to a Pizza Express. <laughs> By the way, I don't know where I'm going. Well, this is the um, Marlebone Road slash Euston Road, so I'd go left here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I'm doing your job for you. You're spoiling my relaxation, which I have to say is immense. I've got the heated seat on high. And it's really this cool. heated steering wheel is warm. I feel like this might be what heroin's like. It's just sort of warm, slipping into a warm bath comfortably and not numb. caring about anything else. Yeah, I'm comfortably numb on my Lexus heroin. I do think this could be the, the songwriter's choice of car or the, the film director, the sc screenplay writer's car of choice. I, we, I don't know. If, if I knew any songwriters... Do I know any songwriters? You could go and pick them up and ask them to pen something in the back of this. Oh, I can you? <sighs> Problem is, they'd be like, not, uh, ordinarily I'd be able to pen probably a nice, uh, some nice lyrics here, but the problem is, is you two are just talking utter shit. You two are talking shit, plus I'm uh, the lead songwriter in Megadeth. And this car is so quiet <laughs> and soothing, I'm, I can find myself only able to write ballads, which aren't really our thing. So, in fact, you've caused the ultimate demise of Megadeth, of <laughs> pricks. I can think of nothing more to say about this car, which I, I mean weirdly as a compliment. Yeah. I think it does its job. It's extremely does smooth it, and quiet. Does it know its audience? It's just a case of... Do you feel like people have to taste Lexus to understand Lexus? Maybe, maybe. And there's maybe a perception there a bit naff, but I think that they sort of, they could win you over yeah. with their quality and thoughtfulness. So I yeah. think they do know their customers and they send them Christmas cards. If you don't them. mind, sir, I'm going to pull over here and just fall asleep. Yeah, if these start becoming Ubers, the number of times that you'll just see them parked up with the driver having a kip, not because he needs one, but because he's just kind of like, oh, else do you do? 
Mm. I'm very warm. But in a nice way. <laughs> just have warm. You, you haven't wised <laughs> yourself. Well, I could have done. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is I could have done. Because I've got that sort of... I've totally warm. soiled myself. And, and um, I'm so sorry. Guys, look. This is... It's a... It's a this is, do you know what this is? I've been working at home a lot recently, and I, I will not lie to you, quite often, if I can fit one in, I'll have a little afternoon nap. You won't. You're not yeah. even 45. There's nothing to be an afternoon nap. Particularly if I've been up early with the kids. I just squeeze in. Oh, I can't. 30 minutes. No. 40 minutes. And, particularly on a cold day, getting all under the duvet in the middle of the day, having just a little sleep. Really? You get into bed? You don't just oh, sit God, in a chair? Yeah. No. Do you take your clothes oh, off? caveman. Yes. Oh my god, so much prep for a half an hour nap. What's the much point? Prep is there in taking your clothes off? There's so much, you've pre worn them, the socks feel right. Don't get rid of them. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't do mid midday napping oh, unless I'm this desperately car, ill. This, this car is. Um, this is an afternoon nap car. This is an afternoon nap of a car. Isn't and it? That is the, that's the highest praise I can pay it. 